Britain is facing a serious productivity crisis. According to a new report by the Institute for Fiscal Studies and City, the report reveals that UK productivity growth has flatlined since the global financial crisis. The country's potential output per worker is now at levels not seen since the 1850s. And this puts the UK significantly behind its European and American counterparts, whose productivity has grown despite recent growth, recent global challenges like the pandemic and the Ukraine war. The UK economy is now 6.1% below the trajectory it was on before COVID-19, reflecting a serious decline in economic performance. The rise in worklessness among young people is adding to the UK's economic challenges. The number of missing workers between the ages of 16 and 24 has increased, driven by worsening health and a tight job market. At the same time, the proportion of high-growth firms in the UK has dropped from 6 to 4% over the past decade. This declining productivity combined with youth unemployment presents a major obstacle for the UK's economic recovery. Experts are pointing to a lack of investment in skills, training and business as key factors behind these troubling trends. As the new Labour government prepares its upcoming budget, addressing the productivity and worklessness crisis will be a top priority. Chancellor Rachel Reeves has already described the country's current economic state as the worst since the Second World War. With the UK falling behind the Eurozone in productivity and GDP growth, the government will need to invest in skills development and job creation to reverse these trends. Experts warn that solving the issue will require long-term solutions, and these include improvements in healthcare access, training opportunities, and sustained investment in the workforce.